viewers, this is Ash and welcome to my blog ash.marinebistv.com. The only purpose to have this blog is to keep you all updated about the latest happenings in the maritime industry. So I am sure that, the, uh, that all the information that I am giving you all passing through this blog is helping you in some or the other way and keeps you all updated about the maritime sector. So let's start off with the first update. It says, Somali pirates fire on US Navy helicopter. At approximately 8 a.m. local time, August 26, Somali pirates aboard motor vessel Winfa fired what appeared to be a large caliber weapon at a US Navy SH-60B helicopter from helicopter anti-submarine squadron light. No rounds of ammunition struck the SH-60B. The, uh, the SH-60B-60 crew did not return fire and no personal injuries resulted from the incident. Let's move on to the next update. Musk, crisis of historic dimensions. Talking more about this update, it says Denmark-based Musk CEO Nils Smedgard Anderson recently referred to Musk US dollars 704 million first half net loss as part of shipping's crisis of historic dimensions. In a phone interview with Bloomberg, Mr. Anderson outlined the company's recent performance and future expectations. The Copenhagen-based Copenhagen company posted a US dollar 704 million loss in the first six months of 2009 compared with a net income of US dollar 2.2 billion the year before. Let's move on to the next update. It says, ship with Indian crew attacked by pirates in the Gulf. A second incident by Somali pirates. It says, a traditional wooden ship with Indian crew sailing from United Arab Emirates towards Bahrain was the target of the first act of sea piracy reported in Persian Gulf waters in years. According to details of the attack that emerged on last Sunday, the Bahrain though was uh, inter intercepted on Friday night by another ship with an armed crew, security sources said. The four pirates threatened the six-man Indian crew with guns, and, with guns and assaulted them. Moving on to the next update, uh, the heading goes like this, the place where ships go to die. Let's check out what is, the, what is it. It says, thanks to the recession, Gujarat's ship breaking yards are booming, but the impact on the environment is toxic. It is known as the graveyard of ships, a place where aging vessels are torn apart by unskilled laborers and the metal then sold on as scrap. In recent years, this often deadly and dangerous ship breakers yards, which stretch a full seven miles along the coast of the Indian state of Gujarat, have themselves been a little on their uppers. Booming demand for freight meant that it made sound economic sense to keep even older ships in operation and many of the laborers in the Gujarati yards were laid off. Let's move on to the final update. It says, Dry Dogs World raises fund for underprivileged children. It's an excellent update. It says, Dry Dogs World Southeast Asia, DDWSEA, Singapore has raised over US dollar 55,000 for underprivileged children in Batam Island, Indonesia, through its annual charity golf tournament held on August 7th. Over 150 golfers participated this year. The overall winner was Kamal Mod Noor from Lippo, Indonesia. The charity event is a part of Dry Dogs World Southeast Asia Corporate Social Responsibility Program. Well, that's all I have for you viewers today. If in case you want to share any of information with me, you can be in touch with me through my blog ash.marinebistv.com and to get more information about the updates that I have shared with you all, you can go to news.marinebistv.com. Stay tuned. Keep watching my blog. You take care. Bye-bye.